Hey everyone, wanted to show you a quick little DIY video of making your own stage light boxes. Uh, we had a setup in our church that was kind of outdated and we wanted to do some upgrades, but we wanted a, a stage that was lightweight, really versatile, easy to change up. And uh, what we found is that uh, some of these light boxes were pretty popular and they looked pretty simple to make, so we gave it a stab. And uh, it was pretty easy, it was fairly inexpensive. Uh, especially for what you're getting and the product was extremely diverse so I'm gonna kind of run through some of the things we got in order to make this happen all right so we got this coroplast corrugated plastic and this stuff is uh, it's about four millimeter thick and uh, what it is it it's basically the stuff that you would get the sign material for like a, gar a garage sale sign or something you put out on the street and we got it at a, a 4x8 sheet and I know that the majority of home improvement stores sell this but we noticed that there were some local plastic suppliers that sold it for uh, kind of a, a lot more discount than the markup so uh, these are 4x8 sheets and we cut these um, horizontally we cut them into three sections so you get a 16 by 96 so you get an 8 foot tall by 16 inch wide panel Next thing we did was we got some uh, some of the uh, steel studs here, and these steel studs are uh, nice and strong. Uh, when we originally started making these, we were going to make them out of uh, one by ones, but many of you guys know that one by ones are fairly well, straight ones are hard to come by, and they tend to warp and they're not very easy to manage. So what we have is we have a two by four here, and uh, it's cut. Um, and then it's just under 16 and then we put uh, uh, these studs on each side to get a little tin snip and we snip that out right there was able to go all the way down um, the only thing is uh, what you have to do is buy these brackets these little L brackets and uh, these are about you know four inches wide by four inches tall and what we did is we just screwed these in and it really gave stability to the whole unit because if you don't have these in here, uh, the whole thing wants to wobble. After we made all our cuts, we started putting the, uh, the coroplast onto our frames. Uh, we took some silicone and we laid it underneath these little, um, these coroplast pieces that we cut. Um, They're about three and three eighths inch wide and, and the length of the internal uh, of the frame. And what we're using uh, to seal those in, like I said, was just some silicone caulking. And then when you turn it over, and here is the back of the frame. And we just took some uh, metal screws. And uh, right now we're uh, just finishing off this particular panel. And uh, there's a long view of it. We got some more that we're stuffing. Um, some, of our, uh, some of our side panels right there. And some of our finished uh, frames, but we got to put the backs on. And then a few of our cut uh, back pieces. All right, one of the most important parts of the panel is that you create an environment inside that is as white as you can get. And one of the really nice things about the, uh, the Coroplast is that it somewhat traps the white light and it disperses it evenly. So that way you get a nice even light through the entire eight by um, eight foot by 16 inch panel. Um, what we did next is we got this um, from our plastic supplier. This is called polyethylene. And the polyethylene is 16 gauge, so it's a, a 1 16th of an inch, 0625. And what we did, we cut it uh, to fit over the front side of our panel. And we took some of these LED strips that you can get online for about, well, we got ours for like $16 for a, I believe it was around five meters and we ran it all the way down and we kind of came around and we came back and that runs into our little DC jack and we're gonna replace this out with a wireless DMX so that way we can control it from our light board. Another nice thing about this um, polyethylene is the polyethylene is extremely soft plastic material. It's not like um, an acrylic or it's not like a plexiglass that is gonna crack on you and cause some, uh, you know, just spider web all over you. And I know those things are extremely expensive at local hardware stores. So um, I recommend going to um, a, 
plastic supplier and a four by eight sheet of this was uh, $22. So we're getting three lights, three panels out of 22 bucks for the front um, translucent paneling. And here is the demo of what it looks like. All right, this is the light off. Here's the light on. Get the frequency. There we go. And the cool thing about a lot of these LEDs panels is you get to change a color. And as you see, it's doing a color cycle right now. And because we dispersed the lights around the parameter of it, it gives it a really even glow, especially when you're looking at the front of it. And so let me hit a couple different colors here, do some cycles. Go. So let's go into a nice deep green. Go into a blue. That's, there we go. A purple. And if I was looking straight on, you would you'd see the evenness a little bit better. But that's how you make these light panels. Uh, pretty awesome. And uh, we plan on plugging them into our DMX controller. We're going to paint the outside black, and these things don't weigh anything. They're probably around um, maybe, maybe five pounds, six pounds. They don't weigh anything. They're extremely portable. Um, you don't have to hang them up, but if you want to, you can. And uh, hope you guys um, can make some yourself and uh, kind of brighten up your environment.